at this house. Joe, Marmy. We left it in a shambles, and it's still in shambles. Meg, did you see the look I gave the coachman at March? His impertinence. He caught every bump in the road. Yes, one must always be civil to a coachman, dear. You must respect those who have the reins until you can wrench the reins from them. Yes, yes, Aunt March. Mm-hmm. Joe, Marmy! Now remember, Amy, you're a lady now. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm a lady. Meg! So will you be going back to Europe soon to go on another trip? Yes, I certainly will. But isn't it funny how when you go to a large area like that, you come back and your own house seems so small. I was telling Lori earlier that I would like to go there. Mm -hmm. We should go there together, all three of us, like a big happy family. Oh, we should. And as we grow grand, Amy, everything around us can seem like it's diminishing in size. I've known people who have practically disappeared before my very eyes. You're such a dear, Aunt March. Thank now, oh yes, dear. And now I'll go see to that wretched coachman. Remember, Aunt March, respect those who have the reins. Very good. Amy! <gasps> May! Look, Look at, at you! you. <laughs> Amy, my baby's home. Marmy, you oh. look so grown up. Doesn't I am, Marmy, I really am. I feel older, I'm sophisticated. You can't imagine all the experiences I had. And wherever I was, I think, if only Meg, if only Joe, if only Beth. Oh, Amy. I was so sorry that I wasn't here to say goodbye to her. I cried for weeks. I couldn't stop, and Aunt March said I was being unreasonable, but my heart was breaking not to be here with her. Beth understood. <gasps> Joe! She said, tell Amy not to fret. Did she really say She was so strong to the very end. She would have been proud of her. I bought her this metronome. The man said there wasn't another one like it. Where did we get this magnificent piano? Sir Lawrence gave it to Beth. He's a dear, isn't he? Oh, it's so nice to be back in our dear house. I have so many things to tell you all. Oh, show us what you brought back, Amy. It's a king's ransom. I ate frogs. Actual frogs. Oh, and how is John? Is he so romantic? Even more so. Oh, I knew it. Men are so amazing. (laughs) That's almost everything. Lori, I hadn't realized you were coming back too. Yes, we all sailed on the same ship. It was so sweet of you to comfort Amy and Aunt March after our loss of Beth. I'm sorry, I didn't come to see you in New York. I thought about it. I wanted to. Don't blame me, Lori. So hurtful to you. So unfeeling. You said what you felt. No. Guess what? I wrote a story. I knew you would. I always had that sort of faith in you, Joe. I know you did. You know, you look different. Very distinguished. Really? I've missed you. I've missed you too. And I've learned something about myself while I was gone. What's that? I was never meant to fly on golden wings. Who is? You. You, Joe. You were meant to soar. Me, I was meant for more mundane things. So I've decided to take up my grandfather's business. I know it's the last thing in the world I would have thought for myself, but the truth is I'm kind of excited with the prospects. I shall be wily and shrewd. Oh, Lori, there you are! Amy! Did you tell Joe? What? The most amazing thing? Really quite a thing. You tell her! You tell her. Something 
in her eyes. As when the bells began to ring, we found that we were so alike it was amazing. So, tell me, who proposed to whom? You know, you're trying to be so discreet about it. Amazing that we were in Ha, 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 ha.